بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر ویورس آئی ایم پروفیسر ڈاکٹر محمد عثمان اینڈ ان دس ویڈیو وی ول لرن اباؤٹ ہائپر تھائرڈزم سو ہائپر تھائرڈزم از ون آف دا موسٹ کامن ڈس آڈرز آف دا تھائرائڈ گلینڈ ایز یو کین سی ہیئر اینڈ ان ہائپر تھائرڈزم دیر از انکریزڈ اور مور دین نارمل سیکریشن آف تھائرائڈ ہارمونس ڈیٹ از ٹی تھری اینڈ ٹی فور The most common causes of hyperthyroidism include Graves disease, then toxic goiter, then thyrotoxicosis and lastly thyroid adenoma. So uh, in toxic goiter, the gland size increases 2 to 3 times normal and the hormone secretion is increased from 5 to 15 times. Then the most common cause of hyperthyroidism is Graves disease. Okay, the most common cause is Graves disease and basically this is an autoimmune disease in which thyroid stimulating immunoglobulins TSIs are formed and they act on the TSH receptors which are present on the thyroid gland. And the difference between TSH and these antibodies is that and the TSIs or thyroid stimulating immunoglobulins have much prolonged stimulating effect than the TSH. The TSH uh, on average it stimulates the thyroid gland for about uh, one hour but the TSIs or these autoantibodies they stimulate the thyroid gland for about 12 hours on average. Then uh, when the TSH acts on the thyroid cell the hormones T3 and T4 which are produced in a regulated manner, they uh, inhibit the secretion of TSH uh, by negative feedback. So uh, this is the uh, regulation of secretion of uh, in the normal gland and it occurs in a regulated manner. But when TSIs act on the thyroid gland, there is too much production of T3 and T4 hormones. And these are in so much quantities that they literally almost block the production of TSH from the pituitary gland. So often in Graves disease the TSH levels are very low or maybe literally zero. Then uh, there is uh, uh, sign and symptoms of uh, hyperthyroidism and uh, the most common sign and symptoms are if we start from the CNS then there is anxiety, irritability, psychosis lack of sleep and uh, there is intolerance to heat okay the person cannot survive in the heat there is a fine straight hair if we talk about the eyes the eyes are usually bulging which is one of the characteristic signs of uh, uh, this hyperthyroidism and this is called exophthalmos there is facial flushing the thyroid size may be enlarged it may be maybe more than normal then in CVS there is increased heart rate or tachycardia, atrial fibrillation, palpitations and often the systolic blood pressure is raised. Then there may be breast enlargement in females. Weight loss is a very characteristic sign and symptom of the hyperthyroidism. Then due to excessive thyroid hormone there is often muscle wasting. Okay, muscle wasting because this hormone in excessive quantities it becomes protein catabolic hormone. Then a very important clinical sign is brisk tendon jerk, jerks and there may be pre-tibial myxedema as you can see here uh, pre-tibial myxedema. So it may be found in the Graves disease. Then in females there may be menstrual changes and there is amenorrhea. Regarding GIT there is increased motility and weight loss and diarrhea. Uh, in the hand we may found sweating, palmar erythema and tremors, tremors of the outstretched hands can be seen. So these are the most common signs and symptoms of the hyperthyroidism or Graves disease. Now exophthalmos uh, as we discussed it is the protrusion of the eyeballs in the hyperthyroidism. It causes damage to the vision because the protrusion of the eyeballs it stretches the optic nerve and stretching of the optic nerve it damages the vision. Then because the eyelids they do not completely close during sleep uh, so it causes the epithelial surfaces of the eye to become dry, irritated, 
and often infected causing ulceration of the cornea the cause of ex ophthalmos is that the auto antibodies of the graves disease they cause edema okay they cause edema and uh, degenerative changes okay they cause edema and degenerative changes in the retro orbital tissue and in the extra ocular muscles of the eye so now we talk about the diagnosis of the hyperthyroidism and uh, graves disease in uh, hyperthyroidism the plasma t3 and t4 levels are raised but tsh levels are often low because of the uh, negative feedback inhibition of the tsh secretion from the anterior pituitary then uh, we can detect the auto antibodies if the hyperthyroidism is due to graves disease so these tsis can be detected by radio immuno assay or by other techniques then bmr if we measure in such a patient it may be plus 30 or plus 60 in severe hyperthyroidism treatment can be medical surgical or radioactive iodine now regarding medical treatment we have various options available like uh, thiocyanate perchlorate or nitrate ions if given in high concentrations they decrease the iodide trapping and in this case um, in such a way they can uh, decrease the synthesis of the thyroid hormone then these drugs like propyl thiouracil carbimazole and methimazole they also decrease the synthesis of thyroid hormones lastly beta blockers can be given to such patient to decrease the features of sympathetic overactivity now here is a brief mechanism of action of various drugs which we have just discussed uh, this is the picture from the synthesis of the hormone which we saw in the first lecture on the thyroid series so thiocyanate perchlorate and nitrate ions in high concentration basically they act on this sodium iodide sympoter which is present on the basolateral side and they Uh, tend to uh, inhibit this pump so iodide trapping that is transport of iodide from the blood to the cell it is decreased and as a result the formation of this hormone is decreased then the drugs like propyl thiouracil carbimazole and methimazole they basically are peroxidase inhibitors and you know that it is a very important enzyme in the formation of this uh, thyroid hormone so when this is inhibited the formation of hormone is stopped or decreased then we have also uh, high concentration of iodide ions and if they are given in high concentration they also block this sodium iodide sympoter and decrease the formation and synthesis of uh, thyroid hormone the surgical treatment is very effective and uh, it is thyroidectomy that is removal of the thyroid gland as you can see in this picture now pre operatively that is before operation uh, usually propyl thiouracil drug is given for several weeks until the bmr of the patient becomes normal also high concentration of iodide ions are given for 1 to 2 weeks immediately before the surgery to decrease the gland size to decrease the gland size and to prevent the blood loss during surgery this is called wolf shehoff effect then radioactive iodine destroys most of the secretory cells of the hyperplastic thyroid gland lastly we will uh, talk about the thyroid storm or thyroid crisis uh, this is a very dangerous condition which uh, sometimes develop in a hyperthyroid patient and uh, if not treated it can be fatal in 48 hours the most common causes of thyroid storm are infection pulmonary or cardiovascular disorders trauma burns fits surgery especially thyroid surgery then various obstetric complications and even emotional distress the symptoms of the thyroid crisis they are caused by the increased action of thyroxine and t3 and these symptoms include high fever okay agitation delirium congestive cardiac failure and even loss of consciousness so this is a dangerous condition and immediate treatment should be uh, started thank you for watching this video please subscribe to this channel stay blessed and allah hafiz